Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is another video on IPC Pro. I just got a a question about the iTunes when you put your when you get done with your beat and you want to transfer it to iTunes. Well, our Evans here, as you can see right here, he um, he says, uh, "Hi, how can I make the beat a minute longer? Two minutes." I save it into iTunes and it's 10 seconds and I reply back you know you have to make the arrangement of the beat you know you create it and you know in your sequencer you know pretty much so what this video is going to show you is how to do that and then also I will show you how to retrieve it from iTunes if you don't know already if you don't know how already okay so let me get into that real fast Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I got to hold my phone here, but uh, just like I said, it's not gonna be a long video at all. What I'm gonna do is just show you. I already have a beat made already, and it's uh, I made like maybe three sequences. So what do you want to do? You want to go to song, and then see in here I have my three sweet. I think I did a video on this. I'm not sure, but uh. I have three and then you can sample them or whatnot, but what you want to do, you want to go down here to where it says arrangement. So once you go to arrangement, everything's open up. See how it's blank over here on this side. You got a blank side here. What you want to do, you want to add your arrangement from your sequences to this, to this blank side over here, okay? So maybe I should put my phone down, but Okay, so just all you got to do is touch and grab over here. And that's my intro. And then I have a chorus here. So I'm going to add the chorus next. And then I have a verse. And then also want to just go come back with the chorus. You know, just, just how you arrange your song. And I'm going to end it with the intro. Okay, now just keep heads up. If you want to if you wanna move stuff around, you just all you have to do is drag it. And then it'll move up and down just like so. Okay. Sorry if my video is like really whack right now, but just want to make this real quick. Okay, your arrangement is done. If you want to play it, you go you go ahead and play it. What's gonna happen? I'm sorry. Don't play it from there. Play it. Don't play from here. Play from here so you can see your arrangement move. Okay. So, so see how it's orange? The orange is going to continue to go down, 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 okay? I'm not going to play the whole song. I'm going to just let the beat roll through and then just to give you an idea. listening to your beat and if it's feeling good and you you know if you want to add in a bridge intro anywhere you can go ahead and do that or like I said you can move your arrangements as, as the beat is moving so pretty much that's how you do that okay I'm sure you guys got the idea of this all right so I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop okay now to export this you want to go down here so you have share song you have export song and then auto copy song what you want to do you want to do an export so let's go ahead and do that now what's going to happen it's going to export it's going to uh, render the audio so it's going to start rendering all this all this that you got right here and then once that's done it's going to it's going to tell you to go to iTunes well file share I'm gonna show you that right now too so I'm gonna be holding my phone when I do that as well okay see so it says sound file created IMPC pro wave this wave file will appear in the file sharing section of iTunes see so you use a guide to for that information okay I'm gonna show you that okay so let's go into my desktop and we'll show you okay here we are on my desktop I'm sorry I'm using my phone again but I'm in iTunes right now 
and all you have to do is click the iPad symbol up here at the top. Once you click that, it's gonna take you over here. All you gotta do is click on apps. Once you click on apps, you're gonna scroll down just a little bit till you get to file sharing. Once you see file sharing, you're gonna go and find IMPC Pro. Once you find IMPC Pro, you'll see your files here. This is the file I just created. So all I wanna do is I wanna select that file and then go ahead and add it and save it to, I'm sorry. I'm gonna save it into my to a file on my desktop that's called a DJ folder or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just save there. And then on that folder, it should be there. Oh, it's creating, is it sending now? Well, it's there, you can see it. You can see it being here, so I uh, don't know why I can't click. Oh, there you go. And just go ahead and sample that. There it is. And that's how you get your music over to iTunes. Hope this video helps. If not, uh, just do some research or more. It's probably better to share it to your SoundCloud. It's probably better to share it on your SoundCloud or whatnot. But I hope this helps. Thanks.